Hey teachers, welcome back to part three of our Zoom for Teachers series. So far I've showed you how to set up your first classroom meeting and the tools that you can use once you start that meeting. Now I wanna share a few quick and fun tips that you can use to engage students. So today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite aspects of Zoom, and this is a great way to catch your students' attention, and that is how to change your background. So let's go ahead and jump onto my computer and I'm gonna show you how it's done. All right, so if you want to change your background, you're gonna to have to go through the Zoom app, not through the website. So I have my Zoom app pulled up, and I'm gonna click on the settings, this little uh, icon here in the corner, and when you do that, you are gonna to go to virtual background. All right, so this shows what your students would see right now. And if you click any of these, you can change your background. Now, before I change, I wanna give a couple of quick tips to you. Number one, a lot of times they tell you that you need to have a green screen behind you. I have found that it doesn't matter if it's a green screen, but there are a few things that you wanna take into consideration. First of all, you need to make sure you have a bright background. If it's too dark, it won't work. You also need to make sure that it's, a, it's as solid as possible. If there's a lot of busyness and things going on in the background, this won't work very well. So I have a bright, solid background. And so now I can click on any of these and you can see that I can change my background. And this sweater is kind of funny. It doesn't show up really good, so you can experiment with your clothes, but sometimes it just looks like I have a floating head. Um, but Zoom gives you three options to choose from. And then if you click on add image, you can actually add your own images to use as your background. So this is really fun. I've seen teachers do where they upload an image of their classroom and so it makes their students feel like they're back at school when they're teaching. And I've also seen teachers upload backgrounds that go along with what they're teaching. So for example, if they're teaching the Great Wall or about China, maybe they have a picture of the Great Wall of China. So there's some really cool things that you can do with this by adding your own backgrounds. Um, I could teach a lesson from space right here. Um, but when you're done, I do go in here and change it back to none or that background will pop up every time you start your meeting. I'd love to hear from you. What backgrounds are you using with Zoom to either enhance your instruction or engage your students? Leave a comment and let me know. And then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my latest Zoom videos. I've got a few more coming out soon and I don't want you to miss them. Happy teaching.